What's up guys, um, I got the Mustang in the shop and I've started stripping the seam sealer on the fender extension bracket and the um, cow panel on the driver's side. Um, we're going to keep going and see what we can get done. Alright, so I started stripping the paint and the seam sealer on the fender extension bracket and the cow panel here on the driver's side. The reason I did that, it really exposes the spot welds that you need to grind out. So it makes it a little easier to see exactly the spots that you need to grind. down all right now on to the other Both of the fender extensions are out of the way. Um, we're gonna start on the top panel of the cowl. So first I need to get all this seam sealer um, off of the top cowl panel. That way I can expose where each spot weld is. So the top cow panel piece is off. Let's get you a better look at all the garbage that was in here. And then the rust holes around those air inlets. Yeah, so this lower piece, same process. 
I'm sure that you guys don't want to watch that again. So I'm gonna buzz that out right quick. And we'll go ahead and skip to that. Alright, so the cowl is out. You can see all the internals of the dash. What a cluttered mess of wires and all sorts of stuff in there. But you can still see it. There's some stuff that I need to clean up. Um, I want to grind all this out, see if it's all good. It all seems to be alright, but you never know until you really get down into the surf past the surface of it. But yeah, it came out pretty easy. Same process as the top panel. Um, I did leave the, you could probably see the heater box that's back there. And then um, I left a fresh air vent on it. I knew it would come out. Same thing, just grind it and break the welds with a like a hammer or a seam, seam splitter. All right, so what I'm noticing on this test fit is that there's too much metal in this area. Um, I guess that's all right. It'll give me a little room to play with. But you can see it's supposed to go in this slotted area. So I'll have to grind that down to fit. But it looks like all the holes line up pretty well. Um, let's see what this other side looks like in that same area. Yeah, see, it's gonna be, it's gonna need to be um, trimmed up a little bit, which is all right. But I was hoping it would be more of a direct fit. But you know how it is with reproduction parts; you have to sort of make them fit most of the time. I got this side to slide in a little better, and it's closer to uh, those lineup holes where the. Um, the export brace mounts up and it's got all these other um, basically line up holes that help reference where the part should actually go. Um, I was having some troubles where the windshield arm, windshield wiper arms were sort of hindering the panel from slipping all the way down into the position where it should be. But I'm still, it still has that poor um, fit over there that we'll have to take care of. Alright, so it's a start. Um, still need to prep everything to be welded in. I need to clean up all the rust and all the areas around. Um, get all the seam sealer out of the area. And um, I really want to peel our 15 the inside, the um, lower part of the cowl. And then I got to get all those fitment issues sorted out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it a night. I um, feel like we accomplished a lot tonight um, with getting the cowl out and just making some leeway on the whole project. But yeah, alright, stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe.